Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I did want to show you guys how to unlock your iPhone 4S on iOS 5.1.1, 5.1, 5.0.1, and iOS 5.0 using the RSIM Interposer. Now this unlock is very cheap, it is not as good as a factory unlock, however I am making this video primarily for the Sprint and Verizon users here in the United States. Now yes, this unlock does require that you go to eBay and purchase an RSIM 3 Interposer unlock, not an RSIM 4 or an RSIM 5, not an Apple and Berry Ultra S, an RSIM 3, and it doesn't matter if it has the gold-plated connector inside or the black colored one, as long as it is an RSIM 3. This is the best working unlock for the 4S that is not a factory unlock. Now, pretty much the reason I'm making this video is because not everyone can get a factory unlock here in the United States for AT&T for $20, and this works on a wide variety of 4Ss, from CDMA here in the US to GSM in the US as well, or worldwide on any carrier 4S. And this will unlock to either T-Mobile here in the United States or any other GSM capable SIM card around the globe. Now about this unlock, it does cost around six to twenty dollars online. I have seen it as low as six dollars, but the average is about twenty dollars for the RSIM 3. And the service is good, it's very steady, not as good as the factory unlock of course, however if you do have an AT&T iPhone, you do not want to do this. You want to go ahead and click on this annotation right here, it'll take you to my factory unlock which is much easier and works much better. However this unlock is for everybody else that is not capable of unlocking using a factory unlock here in the United States on AT&T's network. Now you will need to make sure you have three things down before beginning this unlock, of course purchase the RSIM 3 unlock and you will need to make sure your device is jailbroken. If it is not jailbroken, it doesn't have Cydia you need to click on this annotation right here. It'll take you to my latest jailbreak video where you can do that there. Also, you do need the latest T-Mobile SIM card from T-Mobile, the 128K micro SIM. And you can tell if you have the newest one. If you look on the rear, it should say TM9190. This means you have the newest T-Mobile SIM card. If you have an old one that you cut out yourself, I would recommend going to T-Mobile and asking them for a new one as it works much better if you have the latest T-Mobile SIM card. And to begin, go ahead and open up Cydia. And next, we are gonna be adding two sources so you want to hit manage sources edit add and we are going to add the following source v.backspace.jp forward slash repo it should look just like that then you'll hit add source wait for it to refresh and we're going to go ahead and add another source and that would be cydia.myrepospace.com forward slash p-o-l-y-s-o-n and why. So cydia.myrepospace.com forward slash polysony. And once you have that in there, go ahead and add source. And I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel because I already have it added. But we're gonna go to the backspace repo first and you wanna install the comm center patch. So hit install, confirm. It will ask you to reboot your device, that's fine. Once it's back up and running, enter Cydia. And this time go into the other source we added, polysony. And you're gonna wanna install the i4s 5.1.1 unlock. Unless you're on an older firmware, you're gonna install this one. But if you're on 5.1.1, go ahead and install this and yes it will ask you to reboot after installing I'm gonna go ahead and shut my iPhone down because I do have this package already installed now while your iPhone is off go ahead and remove the RSIM from the package put in your 128k micro SIM on top and go ahead and place it into your iPhone 4s now go ahead and power it on now upon reboot you want to slide to unlock you want to go to settings phone and you want to scroll down and you should see these two tabs. If you just see SIM pin, wait and SIM applications will appear. If you don't see anything, reboot and wait and eventually they will appear. So once you do see them, go into SIM applications and scroll to find your carrier, whichever it may be. For me, it is US Sprint. So I'm going to select US SPR. If you have AT&T, that's up here. If you have Verizon, that's down here. But go ahead and select your carrier, US Sprint, and go ahead and power down your iPhone. And once again, go ahead and slide to unlock, except this time your iPhone should automatically find service. Now for most of you that will happen, however for me it didn't happen so I have to go into settings and you want to wait until the carrier tab shows up right here. We're basically going to be disabling the automatic carrier selection because for most of you it will take you back to the activation screen so you want to make sure to turn it off when it does appear and eventually it will either tell you your carrier could not be found or it will give you two options just like this to select your carrier. For me I'm just going to select T-Mobile and then enable automatic on simple as that. Now for some of you it will not appear right away so you want to go to carrier, disable it, and then go back. It'll disappear. It'll search up here for a little bit. Then you'll see the carrier tab again and you'll want to disable it. Eventually the options will appear. You'll click on it and then you'll select automatic on. So it does take a little bit of tinkering but in the end you will get your unlock and you will be unlocked to the carrier of your choice. So thanks for watching guys. Just a quick unlock video for any iPhone 4S. Primarily the CDMA, Sprint, and Verizon here in the USA. However this does work for any 4S. So I do hope this works work for you please like and favor it does help me a lot also if you have any questions leave them down below in a comment and subscribe for future videos enjoy the unlock guys peace